This image shows the environment containing the galaxy system ZS7 from the James Webb Space Telescope Primer Program, as seen by Webb's near-infrared camera. Recent studies have found a large number of active galactic nuclei, AGN for short, associated with moderately massive black holes with redshifts greater than 5. New research, using Webb's spectrographic capabilities, has found evidence of an ongoing merger of two galaxies, along with their massive black holes, much further away than that. The program team found galaxy ZS7, along with very dense high-velocity gas in the vicinity of a black hole, as well as hot and highly ionized gas illuminated by the energetic radiation typically produced by black hole accretion disks. The galaxy and its black holes have a redshift of 7.15. Light from this galaxy took 28.9 billion years to reach us. The team was able to spatially separate the two black holes and determined that one of the two has a mass that is 50 million times the mass of the Sun. The mass of the other one is likely similar, although it is harder to measure because this second black hole is surrounded by dense gas. One of the ways to detect a black hole is to analyze the radiation created by their accretion disks. In this case, Webb's spectrograph focused on the emission lines of hydrogen and oxygen. In this image, ionized hydrogen emission is orange, and the doubly ionized oxygen emission is dark red. Both of these spectra presented a double peak feature. This double peak is caused by the rotation of the accretion disk. As the disk rotates, light from the portion of the disk rotating toward us is shifted toward the blue spectrum, while light on the portion of the disk rotating away from us is red shifted. This finding may be relevant for estimates of the rate and properties of gravitational wave signals from the early universe that should be detectable by future observatories like LISA 